YouTube, another video. This time it's on the Honda GCV 160, but it isn't actually on the Honda GCV 160. Honda is doing a complete series change with these with these engines. They're going to be known as GCV Xs, and they're going to be 145s, 170s, and 200s. So this is a news release from Honda. <clears throat> Honda undertaking full model change of GCV series of general purpose engines. This is June 13th, 2018 from Japan. <clears throat> Excuse me. Honda Motor Company Limited today announced that its GCV series of general purpose engines is undergoing a full model change and the all new GCV series engines will go on sale September 18th on various power products in Europe. The GCV series has been popular as a power unit for lawnmowers, pressure washers, and its cumulative worldwide production exceeds 36 million units. The current GCV series consists of two models, the GCV 160, like you see here, and the GCV 190. The all-new GCV series will offer three models, the GCV 145, the GCV 170, and the GCV 200, without compromising its excellent fuel economy and all new, the all-new GCV series realizes class topping power output and torque by improving con combustion technologies through various measures including a change in the combustion chamber. At the same time, Honda pursued usability as a power unit for power products designed for household use, which includes improvement of startability and reduction of vi vibration. Moreover, <clears throat> the Kuma Moto factory, where all new GCV engines will be produced, adopted an automated assembly line for GCV engines that utilizes know-how Honda has amassed through the productions of motorcycles, which makes possible high, high efficiency and high quality engine production. Furthermore, the all new GCV series engines will also be installed on Honda push mowers, um, which go on sale in Australia and North America, Japan and other areas. The all-new GCV series underwent fundamental overhaul in the engine frame, including optimiz optimization of the structure and its component parts, which resulted in a weight reduction of 4% compared to the previous model and the realization of class topping power and torque. With further advancement of combustion technologies, including the change in the shape of the combustion chamber from a bathtub design to a pent roof design, the all-new GCV series realized low exhaust emissions at, to at the top of its class. The all-new GCV series complies with EU Stage 5 EU emission regulation, which, is, which will take effect in 2019 as one of the most stringent emission standards in the world. Moreover, stability was further improved for the all-new GCV series engines in pursuit of its usability as a power unit for power products for household use. Low noise and vibration. The sound quality of the exhaust noise was improved through the adoption of a plastic muffler protector and the improvement of internal structure of the muffler. Moreover, vibration was reduced through the optimization of the shape of the crankshaft. Here's my favorite part. Ease of use. Ease of use was enhanced through the various changing changes including optimization of the oil filler position. Well, that's good and increasing the diameter of the fuel filler opening. So that's good too. Now, among the questions that you may be asked is, can I get this rig in and out of my driveway? Well, the answer is yes. The departure angle for the all new 1989 Chieftain is exactly that of the 88 model. I think I was going bananas. So the all new GCV X series is gonna have the same fuel economy but it's going to have better torque, better output, less vibration. It will be easier to start. It will be lighter by 4%. Uh, it will be cleaner running. Uh, it will be quieter. And the fuel filter and oil filler will be moved. Alright guys, if you're new here, hit that subscribe button. I really appreciate all you guys that subscribe. I'm always uh, happy to see the numbers go up. I'm trying to make it to 1,000 subscribers by the end of the year. I think we'll make it, but... I really appreciate you guys subscribing. We'll see you in the next we'll see you in the next one. Meet innovation.